Miss Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a book review and today I'm going to be reviewing and discussing Rose Matter by Stephen King. This book follows a husband and wife, um, Rosie and Norman, and after 14 years of their marriage, Rosie decides to boot it from his life to get the hell out of there. Um, he is physically, sexually abusive. Um, a lot of things go horribly wrong. It's actually very terrifying, so be aware this does have a lot of trigger warnings for abuse. So keep that in mind before picking it up. This was definitely not what I expected. It had slightly like a supernatural element to it because there's this painting and there's all this stuff involved with this painting. It's called Rose Matter, the painting. Um, and I actually quite enjoyed this book. Not gonna lie, it took me kind of a little bit longer than I wanted it to to get through. I listened to the first 80 pages on audiobook and then I read it physically and it was just so interesting. I loved how we followed both perspectives. So we got the perspective of Rosie who was living with her husband at the beginning of the novel and then gets out of there and her kind of escape and how she forms a new life and then we follow Norman as he is as he treats his wife and how he like goes after her to find her and he's feels so attacked that she left him that she took his, his her ba that he t that she took his bank card and i'm like okay and it was just such an interesting story so that's kind of the plot of this book the characters i thought norman was so twisted he reminded me a little bit of brady from the mercedes trilogy i definitely like brady more um as a villain i mean um i prefer brady but i mean norman was like holy sh like norman was like norman reminded me of kind of brady and the mercedes trilogy as well as he kind of reminded me of Joe and You by Carolyn Kepnes, like that creep factor. Like definitely if you enjoy those two books, definitely check this one out because it kind of has similar vibes to it. And yeah, so Norman was super interesting. I liked how we got a little bit of like how he grew up. So that gave a little bit of insight into how he is now and why he is how he is. Um, but I thought that was super interesting. Rosie, I had a lot of respect for um she goes through a lot and though i don't agree that she stayed with him for 14 years i can understand how terrifying it would have been to leave him and i also love the aspect of like a group home in this book because i've never read a book where i don't think they've talked about like women's group homes so i thought that was amazing and how she like developed friends and there was support there and um i thought it was, her growth was really well done for the writing um i really liked it i loved again how we got both perspectives you could really tell norman was super twisted and just super like terrifying so you really got those vibes from the book so i just really liked that about it and the writing was like usual king writing and it was great i really liked it about the paranormal element i don't want to talk too much about it because of spoilers but i thought this was incorporated really nicely it wasn't too much and it wasn't too little so if you're looking for a more like almost like a contemporary ish stephen king story with creep factor and if you're looking for that i would check this book out it does have like a slight paranormal element but it's not like a huge aspect of the book so keep that in mind but it was just not what I thought it was going to be. Like it was actually very well done. If you're if you if you liked You by Carolyn Kepnes, the Mercedes trilogy, or Into the Darkest Corners, it has kind of like all those wrapped together for me. Um, it really reminds me of that book, and I really like enjoyed reading it. Like it was terrifying to read at times, and like definitely if you can't handle books that deal with really tough topics, don't pick this up. I really had respect for how King talked about abuse and how. Like you saw Norman who was thought he wasn't doing anything wrong. He was just whatever. Um, like he didn't even refer to her as like a human. It was just like his object, his possession. So it really shows like male dominance as well. So it was just the aspect of a predator. And I thought that was like really interesting to read about. So overall, I gave this book about like a 3.5 to 3.75 out of five stars. That's a very, like a pretty solid rating for me personally. It's not my favorite King ever, but it's definitely like up there. It's not as like crazy as some other Stephen King books, but it was like kind of mellow for me, but it was like, it was pretty good. Like I quite enjoyed like the, like it was really interesting how he incorporated all these things into it. And I thought it was just fairly well done. So yeah, that was my review. I mean, let me know down below if you guys have read this book or if you're interested in reading it. I personally suggest reading it. I was nervous to go into this book because like the ratings on Goodreads, the rating on Goodreads is like a 3.3 .3 average, which is like pretty bad. But in my opinion, like, it was pretty good like I really liked it like I thought it was really well done so I was really surprised about the rating so just take that into account that maybe the Goodreads rating isn't as uh, uh, I don't really know what the criticism is I haven't read any of the reviews because like I don't want to like 
I'll get alter my opinions based on other people's opinions. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I would recommend checking it out. I don't know if enjoyed is the right word. It's definitely not, but I thought it was a well done book and I feel like I learned a lot from it and I feel like it was just super important. So I would definitely check it out if you're interested in it. And if you have read it, let me know your thoughts down below or if you're interested in reading it and all that jazz. And I'll see you all super soon with a new video. Bye. I've got a day.